If you look in the centre of a camera lens, you may find something that's very similar to the human eye. Look at this. There's a hole there, and I can make it smaller or larger by rotating a ring. This is the iris. That's the coloured part of the eye. In the camera, it's called the iris diaphragm, little blades of metal. And that's one of the main things that controls the amount of light coming into the camera. If there's too much light, close it down. Not enough light, open it up. Same thing happens in your eye. The second thing in a ca camera that controls the amount of light getting to the film is, of course, the shutter speed, a little door at the back that opens and closes for varying amounts of time. Well, many modern cameras have electronics built into them, silicon chips and all sorts of things that control the aperture and the shutter speed to make sure that your pictures are correctly exposed. But this was not always the case. Go back 20 years and you'd find that cameras didn't have any electronics inside them, but they may have had something sitting on top, an exposure meter. And in this case, the exposure meter is connected to the aperture ring, which controls a little white needle there that you can see moving. And also, there's a black arrow just there, which is connected to the shutter speed dial. And so by lining up the white and the black arrow, you made sure that you'd have the correct exposure. Well, go back 30 years, and there were no exposure meters sitting on cameras. But in those days, photographers almost always carried a separate exposure meter. Some of them still do. What you do here in this case is to turn that knob until the diagonal line lines up with the needle, and then on the dial, read off your selection of shutter speed and aperture. Now, if you went back 60 years, no electronics and no electrical exposure meters, but there were exposure meters, and here's one of the very early ones. All it consists of is a metal disc with a little hole to look through and glass on the other side with some numbers on it. The idea is you look at the scene through that hole and you notice that everything appears bluey-gray because you're looking through smoked glass. Then turn the ring, the metal ring, until the image becomes dimmer, 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 almost goes black. Then you take it down from your eye and you look at the number in the little window. In this case, it says 11. That means I must set the old-fashioned camera at f11. The aperture is f11 and I know that it should give me the correct exposure. Do you know what? I've checked this old exposure meter against the new electronic systems and it is surprisingly similar. It's an old technology, but a good one. <laughs>